Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. This video I will talk about the three key questions about hydrosol and uh, its quality control. If you start to make your own hydrosol or using the fresh made hydrosol, or you want to run your hydrosol business, and these are the three key questions you want to find out the answer and keep practicing. The reason I recommend like a fresh made because the fresh made has very strong potency. You make a small batch fresh made hydrosol and consume them all quickly, like let's say like within a month. And then you have your second batch. Just in case if you have saved them for a longer time, there are two points are very important. The first one you gotta use a very good sanitized bottle. So the bottle is super important. Hydrosol has a pretty good antioxidants, even antibacteria, uh, especially oregano, lavender, sage. Those are pretty good uh, antibacteria, but they are not supposed to use to kill bacteria. So they can keep their own healthy when they are storage. So if you are using a contaminated bottle, either the bottle is used or when you are storage them, like a, uh, transport them from one bottle to the other bottle, you use the bare hands or dirty hands, you uh, touch the, the bottle, especially the mouth of the bottle, so you may introduce some bad germs into it. So that can cause the hydrosol go bad when the uh, during the storage. So the first one, use a good sanitized bottle. The second one, either amber or dark blue color. So I'm using the dark blue and amber, the glass bottle. So it's better than the plastic bottle because the fresh made hydrosol contains certain small amount of uh, the essential oil. Essential oil is not good to the plastic so you want to use a glass bottle well you still have uh, those uh, sprayer little tube but we already eliminate most of the plastic this hydrosol can touch so that's the best thing we can do so and then the storage you want to have a good stable temperature environment like an indoor it's a perfect or even you want to put in the uh, refrigerator, it's uh, you can do that, but not uh, actually necessary. The, these two hydrosol has been stored in this original bottle for over a year. They are super good. They are still very good to use. One way to check the quality of the hydrosol is a cloudy test. You just uh, put the bottle in front of the light and check. If you see some like a big particles and so cloudy test is the first way, and then the other way is you test the smell of the hydrosol. When it's hydrosol go bad, the smell it's original like a flower smell. It disappear. You change into kind of a similar smell for all of those bad hydrosol, hydrosols. It's uh, very interesting. So you don't have your original flower smell anymore. And the third way is uh, you do a small skin batch test. That just be careful because uh, it has a high chance the hydrosol already have a mold so you may have a irritate irritate your skin so you just put on your arm or, or whatever place you think you can tolerate and just a tiny bit of one spray and you feel if you feel like a irritation that means totally bad so don't use it anymore we keep using the hydrosol and there are a lot of bottles there. So can we reuse them? Yes, you can. The key point is you have to have a good sanitization on these bottles. 
Today I'm showing you one of the way you can do it at home. Um, for industry, it's a, they have a, a special equipment. They do the high temperature sanitization. But uh, at home, we can use uh, some uh, simple like uh, kitchenware to uh, sanitize the bottle. So when we clean our used bottle, um, first you check if there is a mold. For these two bottles, they already have a mold. I won't use it. I just uh, recycle them, uh, throw it away. And for the other, uh, the good bottles, the first thing is uh, clean it. Uh, just uh, dump the any uh, the hydrosol in it, and then rinse it. The second step is uh, we are putting the the water in the pot. We're going to uh, boil them. If you can remove the sticker, that will be the best. Uh, if you cannot, that's okay. I use a small pot to demonstrate, so it's uh, easier for me. Um, but when you uh, do the uh, the boiling, so you can use a large pot and put all your bottle in. For all of those uh, plastic pieces, I prefer just uh, uh, replace them. Um, I wouldn't use them anymore um, because those are plastic and. Uh, it's also it's hard to uh, sanitize um, all the place inside the tubing and especially the sprayer. It's pretty good now. Um, so the second step to sanitize is uh, soak the pour the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol into the bottle and soak it. Do the second round uh, disinfection. A good manufacturing process and this can help you make a better quality control.